what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? In the building right now, Lon Anthony Parker. He is the teacher who was fired from Idea Public Schools uh, because, not because he was playing with kids or something, not because he got busted with some drugs, not because he wasn't showing up for work on time. No, he bust the teacher in the eye and slapped the principal. They fired him because of an old rap video. Break this down for me, man, and, and let me know how this all came about. So um, on September on September twelfth, uh, I'm sitting in my classroom, and uh, it's seven period, which is my conference period. So I'm just sitting there and I'm just thinking about you know just reflecting on the day or whatever, and. Uh, the day before that, previously, a, a student had used a racial slur in my classroom. So I was upset. Um, you know, I was caught off guard by it. I wanted to say, you know what, let me, let me, calm, let me calm down a bit. And then on Tuesday, I'm going I'm to I'm get my thoughts together and I'm going to call parents. So end of the day comes. I had already told a six-period class where the racial slur was used in. I'm going to start. I'm going to call parents today. I'm going to call parents. Um, Next thing I know, I'm getting escorted by five people from the from the office, from my classroom, uh, to the principal to the principal's office, and, and who, uh, over who the these five people. Uh, one of them is uh, an administrator, the secretary for the principal, uh, the counselor, the lady that works in the front, and then operations. One of the operations lady, the operations manager. So they brought in backup. <laughs> I guess so. So when they say, "Mr. Parker, can you uh, can you get get your stuff and uh, come with me?" So I say, "Get my stuff." I'm thinking like a meeting or something. Like mm -hmm. so, I'm like, "What do you want me to grab?" So the uh, the administrator, he's like, uh, "Just just grab your laptop." Okay. So I grab my laptop. Mm -hmm. I go to the office. I say, "I said, uh, what's going on?" He says, uh, "I don't know. i was just I was just told to get you." All of a sudden, you know, everybody started breaking off into their own little thing. And everybody started breaking off to make it look like not so obvious. But me and the administrator and then the operations manager, which is a lady, we're walking to the to the principal's office. So I'm looking for the principal around and she's nowhere, she's not there. So they walk in, another lady walks in and says, Oh, we have Mr. Parker right here. And then she says, uh, Mr. Parker, she says, I'm sorry I'm not able to be right there, I'm not be able to be there. I'm off campus, but uh, I just want to let you know that you're suspended. And I, I'm suspended, so for what? She says, well, I can't disclose those reasons right now, but just understand that we do hear the idea. We take these allegations serious. So I'm thinking, allegations? What's going on? She said, a parent has filed allegations against me, but I'm going to be suspended. In the meantime, I will be suspended with pay. So now she's saying, I'm going to be suspended with pay. At first she said, I was going to be suspended. But now she's saying I'm suspended with pay. What are the so, allegations? So if the, she don't tell me at the time. I didn't find out till the 13th of September when I when she called me over the phone of me being fired. She said that uh, a parent had saw found a found an inappropriate content on YouTube, a video, a music video of you on YouTube, and that's why we, due to that we're gonna have to let you relieve you of your duties that I did. And I was like a music video. I said I don't have no music videos on I did on, on a on YouTube. I don't own though. I don't own the content to that. And I told you before you hired me that I used to be a rapper. I told you. And then she turns around. She says, well, that's before I knew what the content was. I'm just like, what? And then so I'm trying to talk. I'm just, I'm just trying to get to like, how did it get this far? Like, okay, you had a, a student that used a racial slur. I got that part. Mm -hmm. And like, what did you say to the student after he used the racial slur? And then how did it progress from there? Okay, so I didn't get to see who said the racial slur because I had my back turned because I'm teaching. So I'm writing on the board and I said, who said that? 
Who said that? Who said that? And my, who said that? And everybody's like trying to act like they didn't know what I'm talking about. And I said, if you don't use that, that word in front of your grandmother, don't use that word in my classroom. That's not going to be tolerated. And that was it. And that was it. That was it. You never, you never even brought it back up again. Nah, I never brought it back up in my classroom because I. So was the racial slur directed toward you? Yeah, yeah, it was directed toward it was directed towards me. But the thing about it is, is like, so I don't know how to put it. So you sit in the classroom, and everybody don't look like you, right? Everybody don't look like you. So I got two options: I can explode in the classroom, and then that's bad, right. or I can, you know, keep my composure, get through what I'm trying to get through with the lesson, mm -hmm. and then go f go from there. Right. But see, the thing about it is, I didn't get, I didn't tell anybody at work on that day. The day that I got suspended, I called my grade team leader, ninth grade, my ninth grade grade team leader, because they have like grade team leaders at the school that I worked at, right? right. So I called him on the phone, and we had a conversation. I tell him over the phone. He tells me, I got your back. I got your back. Don't worry, I got your back. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. So I know I didn't do nothing wrong. So I'm trying to figure out what are these allegations, right? What could it be? But when you know you didn't do nothing wrong, hey, man, it don't matter. It's going to get cleared up. So I'm thinking, oh, this is going to get cleared up. I'll be right back to work. No, I got fired from a music video. They come to find out it's four years ago. I didn't know what music video that they were even talking about until until I got the, the reply to my appeal uh, the other day. And it still doesn't even say what music video. It just says, like, uh, surrounded by. So I'm thinking, okay, that's, that's one of the stripper videos that I did. And that's almost four years ago. And there's a content restriction on that video. Okay, so explain to the, explain to the audience what's the video about and what's exactly happening in the video that set them off. Okay, so basically, we in a, we in a strip club. And, uh, my friend just opened his strip club. He says, hey, man, if you ever want to use my strip club, let me know. I'll let you have it. I said, man, you know what? I just recorded this song. I said, it'd be perfect. We can just we can shoot the grand opening of the strip club. So it's the grand opening of the strip club. We shoot. I got the song ready. We go in there. We shoot the video. It's a bunch of people in there. Some people I know. Some people I have no idea who these people are. But what's but happening it's about, in the video? What but it's, it's strippers, it's strippers, it's alcohol, it's money everywhere. That's just basically it's just like it's like a uh, if I could put it, it's like a uh, like a, a lower level tip drill video. Okay. It's like a but but the nudity that you see is minimal as far as just like nipples poking through the uh, through the girls uh tops and stuff like that but nothing nothing crazy no vagina showing nothing none of that none of, none of that crazy that was, stuff that was the second video what about the first video the first video the one that came on the news that's warning shots so in warning shots it's nothing but we we shooting guns but we're not shooting at anything we just shooting at air you know what i'm saying air targets you get what i'm saying so they talking about that and then there's clips in the video where you see people getting beheaded uh, you see a girl in a thong riding on the back of a bike. Uh, typical stuff, you know what I'm saying? But they just felt like that, oh, it's, that's just too, too egregious. But the thing about it is they never disclosed to me what video it was in question when they knew the whole time what video it was. So when I went into my appeal, the lady could have just said, hey, what's the video with all these strippers in it? And now what they said, man, that video has a content restriction on it. So I know the teachers have... Uh, have to uphold to an employee code of conduct, and I know students have to hold up to that same code of conduct. Well, this is part of uh, Idea Public Schools code of conduct. They said that we can confirm, they said this in a statement, we can confirm that Mr. Long Anthony Parker was terminated on September 12, 2017 at Idea. We have a specific social media conduct policy that states Employees have a right to participate in social uh, networking sites, blogs, forums, etc., as individuals in the community. However, employees should not post anything that would violate student confidentiality or the professional and ethical conduct expected of IDEA 
employees. Inappropriate communications, even if made on your own time using your own resources, may be grounds for disciplinary action up to and including immediate termination, harassing, obscene, defamatory, threatening, or other offensive content must be avoided by employees when engaging in activity on social media. Now just reading that, it gives them the loophole that they need to fire you, just reading that. But when I think about how bankrupt we are in our educational system with having good qualified teachers. I mean, you're not just a regular teacher, you got yourself a master's. You wanna got yourself a master's. And they're penalizing you for a rap video that you made prior to employment. And I never posted on social media. It's, it, that you never posted on social media. And this is, this is behavior that you didn't, uh, you didn't portray this, uh, uh, this behavior while an employee, uh, an employee at IDEA. This was, that is correct. This was previous behavior. So, and you didn't post it. So it seems to me that there's some type of grounds uh, for you to get some type of legal remedy. But besides that, it seems to me that there should be some type of flexibility for them to say, you know what, we're gonna give him another look, we'll give him a second chance. Because this is something that he did prior to becoming an employee at IDEA. If they look and at they, those other teachers, if they, I guarantee you, they, they go into those other teachers' backgrounds, including the ones who fired you. I bet you you find all kind of bad uh, behavior that's unbecoming, unbecoming of a professional. I bet you they got some stuff they doing right now. I bet you half of them smoke weed. I mean, they got, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. But the yeah. thing about it is, in my job interview, before they even hired me, I told them I used to be a rapper. I've done short films. I wrote two books. And they asked me, well, is it something appropriate that students can, can watch? No, it's not. But you know what? I don't do that anymore. My, I turn my life around. I want to be, I want to teach. I want to teach for 20 years. I'm dedicated to teaching. What the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.